welcome to Christ Kids TV. We're so glad you he you're here. Let's begin with the sign of the cross. Ready, everyone? In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay, let's put our hands together and bow our heads. Dear God, thank you for all the special people you put in our lives to help us grow big and strong. And all God's children said, Amen. Amen. All right, we have been talking a lot about growing on Christ Kids TV. And today is a special day to celebrate some people in your life that I bet helped you grow big and strong. Millie Grace, do you know what we're celebrating today? Father's Day. Yes, that's right, Father's Day. And look, I've got my dad here today. His name is Mr. Dan. You want to say hi? Hey, everybody. And Millie Grace, this is your granddad, but what do you call him? Papa. That's right, she calls him Papa. Um, all right, so we just want to wish everybody out there a happy Father's Day to all the dads and granddads. We hope you feel loved and celebrated today, and we want to say thank you for helping us grow. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Love you. Bye. Have a great week. <laughs> I just take it slow. Whoop. Uh oh. Oop. Uh oh. Hey, hey, oh. hey, hey. Hey. Wait, what? Did, did uh. I notice that you're eating the seeds? Uh, well, I was throwing it up in the air. It sort of looked like popcorn and. Uh, uh -huh. I might have, I think I ate too much of it. Well, there there are some seeds you can eat. Oh. But some seeds probably aren't as good for you. Oh, I got a bit of a tummy ache. You think, uh, you think there's going to be watermelons and other items growing in my belly parts? No, 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 don't worry about oh, it growing inside a you. A plant's going to grow in me is what you said. Remember when I said God's love grows inside yeah, of you? Yeah, just like the seed. Oh, oh, yes, yes. But God's love is growing inside you, but you don't have to worry about the seed growing oh, inside you. Not that one. That's not how it works, yes, is it? No, God's <laughs> love grows inside us. So God's love is yeah. like a seed yeah. that gets planted in good soil. Yeah. Where the good soil? Yeah. And then God's love grows inside of us. <sighs> That's such good news. Such good news. And such good soil.
the memory. memory. But, but, Hey everyone, I'm Miss Kate and I'm so excited to teach you our memory verse for the month of June. This month we're talking about growing with God. And the way we grow with God is a lot like how this tree grew to be this big. Here, let me show you. Wow, this tree has roots that grow deep down underground. Without good roots, a tree can't grow. And you know, we're kind of like that too. We need to have good roots so we can grow big and strong. Our memory verse comes from Colossians chapter two, verse seven, which says, let your roots grow down into him and let your lives be built on him. Then your faith will grow strong in the truth you were taught. Let's learn some motions to go along with our verse. Are you ready? First time through, you can repeat after me, and then we'll do it one more time all together. So our verse starts like this. Let your roots, and we're gonna make our hands and fingers look like roots that are gonna go deep underground, like this. Good. Let your roots. The next part says, grow down into him. So we're going to make those roots grow, go down, and you're going to touch the ground. Go, grow down into him. And let your lives be built on him. Remember, we just finished building our faith on him. So we're going to put our arms up like this, like a root. And that part says, your lives be built on him. Okay, next says, then your faith will grow. You're going to kind of slowly come up and put your hands up like that. Let's try that part again. Then your faith will grow strong in the truth you were taught. You're going to bring your arms out into big muscles. Again, all together. Ready? Let your roots grow down into him. And let your lives be built on him. Then your faith will grow strong in the truth you were taught. Great job. So, how do we get good roots? Well, we can start by spending time with God, doing things like reading the Bible and praying. The stronger our relationship with God, the better our roots will be, and the bigger and stronger our faith will grow. After time, after time, after time. Hello, everybody. Pastor Tenney here. It's good to be with you. Do you remember a few weeks ago we talked about those rose bushes that uh, I had that needed to get planted? Well, they've been planted. They're now in the ground. And let me show you where they are. Well, here they are. They're in the ground and they're actually doing pretty well. My job now is to continue taking care of them, taking off the, the dead leaves and making sure they get enough water and, oh, getting the weeds out of here that can choke them or compete for the water and then keeping them watered and fertilized and trimmed up all of that before before we can get the harvest of the beautiful roses but they will come they will come God is making these rose bushes grow my job is to continue to take care of them and nurture them just like our faith there's something else that I used to love to plant because I used to love to eat them potatoes. Do you like potatoes too? Oh, I love them. Make them into French fries, hash browns in the morning, mashed potatoes with some gravy. Mmm, that's my favorite. When I was younger, we used to plant potatoes. We used to take a single potato and cut it 
and then put it in the ground and we would get 10, 20 times, 30 times the number of potatoes that we would plant. They would grow underground and then in the fall, we would harvest them. My job was to drive the tractor. Here, let me show you a picture of this old tractor that we had and I still have it down here now in Charlotte. And it sounds like this. I was out driving it the other day. Here's what that tractor sounds like. So we used to use that tractor to plow the potatoes that would go down the row and throw them the dirt up and over and we would harvest the potatoes. And we would get all those potatoes because we planted them and we watered them and we took care of them. You see, that's what God does with us and God's love. It's planted in our hearts and our job is to plant it in other people's hearts and take care of it and nurture it and help them and share the Bible with them, listen to their stories and share Jesus with them as well. When we do that, God's love continues to grow. Just like these potatoes, 10 times what you plant, 20 times, 30 times, many, many, many more times than what you actually plant. The seed of God's love can spread all over the world. Our job is simply to scatter that seed, to water it, to tend to it, and then when the time is right, then help somebody really begin to understand the love of Jesus. Boys and girls, my friends, it's really been great being with you again today, and I hope to see you real soon. Take care. To think about the goodness of the Lord He gives me everything I need and so much more So I just want to lift my hands Say that I love Him I just want to lift my heart in prayer To think about the goodness of the Lord He gives me everything I need and so much more So I just want to lift my hands And say that I love Him I just want to lift my heart in Friends, welcome to Christ Kids TV. It's so good to have you back. We're doing things a little bit different this week. Miss Kate and I are actually going to teach today's lesson together. So there won't be a separate spark lesson and a separate deep blue lesson. We're all together today. And we're wrapping up the parable of the stower that we have been talking about for the last few weeks. So we've learned that a parable is a story that Jesus often used to teach people. It had one meaning on the surface, but then there was a little bit deeper meaning when you dug down into it just a little bit more. So in the parable of the sower, we talk a lot about how things grow and seeds and soil and all of those things, but we've learned that they kind of represent different things. So the seed is like God's love and being in good soil helps us sink down some awesome strong roots. And then 
after you got those roots in, what happens? It's growing time. So we want those things to grow up and grow and grow and grow big and strong. So if we took this on the surface, I wonder what it would look like. Hmm. Let me think about that for a second and I'll get back to you. Okay, so I have an idea of how to show you what the first level of the parable of the sower looks like when it comes to growing. So I have this tree in my yard and the seeds look like this. So the tree starts out as just that little seed. It's not very big, but check out what happens when it grows in good soil. Okay, now do you still have that picture in your head of how big the seeds were? They weren't very big, were they? Well, when you've got good soil for those roots to grow, let me show you what can happen. Okay, so this isn't actually a tree growing up. This is the root that's growing in the ground from this tree that started as that little bitty seed. Look at how big these roots are and they just keep growing and going and they keep going everywhere. Now, you wanna see the cool part? Okay, now that you've got these strong roots, what happens next? Well, it grows into a great, big, strong tree. Keep going up, 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 up. Oh goodness, I can't even see the top of the tree. Can you? It's a pretty tall tree. Whoo, wow. But it didn't start this way, did it? How did it get to be so big? So do you think that tree got so big overnight? Well, of course not. It took a long time. It took a lot of care. It needed exactly the right stuff, sun and water and good soil. But remember what we learned about parables. It's not just about trees and growing because I'm pretty sure we don't just actually have to like pour water on ourselves and make sure we stand out in the sunshine for us to grow strong in our faith. I think we need other things. So we got to find out what exactly makes us good soil. How can we make sure our hearts are good soil and that the time and care is taken to make sure that our faith continues to grow? Guess what? Miss Kate is going to tell you more about how we can be good soil. Hey everyone, it's Miss Kate. Listen, quick, I need you to take a look at the bottom of your shoes. Do you have any roots growing out of there? What about me? Do you see any roots growing out of the bottom of my shoes? You don't? Well, no, none of us are, grow are going to grow actual roots like the tree that Miss Kristen just showed us, but God's love can take root and grow in our hearts when our hearts have good soil. We've been studying the parable of the sower and we know that there are lots of different kinds of soil that our hearts can have. They can be hard, rocky, weedy, or good. And I think by now we've all decided that we want our hearts to be good soil. But good soil doesn't just happen. Any gardener will tell you that it takes work to make good soil. But as long as you're willing to put in the time and the energy and the care, any soil, even the rockiest, the hardest, the weediest of soils can become good soil. So come with me and I'll show you what I mean. All right, y'all. So I have this area here in my backyard that I know could be good soil, but right now it's a mess. I've got some gardening tools here and I was hoping that you could help me. But let me give you a closer look and see if you see what I see. All right, look at this, y'all. 
I have areas of hard soil. I've got rocks and tons and tons of weeds. But I also have some areas that look like they really are already kind of good soil. So let's see if we can fix these problem areas and make them into good soil. Let's talk about this hard soil. It reminds me about how sometimes our hearts can be hard, like this soil. Have you ever had a problem and thought, uh, I don't really need to talk to God about that. I, I can handle that on my own. Or have you ever done something wrong or made a bad choice that you knew was a sin and would make God sad? Well, when we turn our backs to God and when we do things that we know are wrong, our hearts kind of get hard like this soil. And we know from our parable that God's love can't take root and grow in hard soil like this. But today we're all about changing hard soil into good soil. And so have you ever seen a gardening tool like this? It's called a tiller and it's the perfect tool for making hard soil into soft soil. It has these spikes here, and as I push it back and forth, the spikes roll over the hard soil and break it up. Here, let me show you. Look, all the hard soil is gone. You know, we can get rid of the hard soil in our hearts too. Not by using a tiller, but by asking God to forgive us and by making time for God. You know, God loves us all the time, no matter what, and God is always ready to forgive us. All right, the hard soil's done, but I noticed that the tiller brought up a lot of rocks. Sometimes our hearts can be like this rocky soil. Think about it. When everything is going great in your life, it's easy to love and praise God. But life isn't always easy. There's gonna be times when life can be really, really, well, rocky. All of us are gonna face challenges and sad things will happen from time to time. But when those rocky times come, we may start to wonder why God let these things happen to us. And we may even start to question if God really loves us and may even turn our backs to God. But when we go through hard times and let our sad feelings and our hard things take over the space in our heart, then we get rocky soil. And we know from our parable that God's love can't take root and grow in rocky soil. But I do have a tool. <laughs> Check this out. I've got a shovel and I can use this shovel to scoop out the rocks and get them out of the soil to make it good again. Let's try it. We can get rid of the rocky soil in our hearts too. Not by using a shovel but by relying on God and asking for God to help us to get through those rocky times. God loves us so much. He's always with us and will always hear us when we ask for help. Now, last thing we gotta do is tackle those weeds. These weeds right here can be really tricky because they grow really fast and really easily. And if we aren't careful, then these weeds are gonna take over all the good soil that we just made. And you know, our hearts can have weedy soil like that too. Sometimes we get distracted by all the other things that we have going on in our lives, like playing video games or extra activities like soccer or baseball, dance class, swim lessons. The list goes on and on and on. And of course, God wants us to enjoy these things and wants us to be in community with other people. But we need to make sure 
that all those extra things in our life don't become like this, these weeds and start taking away our time and our focus and our love for God. Because we know from our parable that God's love can't take root and grow in a weedy heart. But, you know, I've got a tool to help me take care of it. I've got this little gardening right here. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna grip those weeds and I'm gonna pull real hard and get them out of our good soil. Will you help me? We can get rid of the weedy soil in our heart too. Not by using a gardening rake, but by making sure that we put God first in our life. We need to weed out the things in our lives that keep our relationship with God from growing. So, what's something in your life that might be taking too much time and focus away from your relationship with God? This week, you can try to spend less time doing that and more time spending time with God. You know, you are a beloved child of God God loves you so much, and spending time with him makes him so happy. Whew. Man, that was some hard work. Hold on, I gotta grab a drink of water. Whew. We turned that hard, rocky, weedy soil into good soil. And it was hard work, but guess what? Our work isn't over because now we have to maintain that soil to make sure that it stays good. And the same is true for our hearts. We know that we can turn hard, rocky, and weedy soil from our hearts into good soil by spending time with God and learning more about Him. But in order to keep that good soil, we need to make our relationship with God a priority in our life by doing things like reading the Bible, going to church, praying, watching Christ Kids TV, and talking about God with other people. When we put in the time and care to make sure that our hearts are good soil, then God's love can take root and grow in us for our whole lives. Thanks for joining us over these past few weeks for our Growing With God series. Be sure to tune in next week for a special episode. That's right, our Christ Lutheran High School youth in the experience will be performing their virtual show for us right here on Christ Kids TV. You're not gonna wanna miss it. I'll see you then, bye. Thanks for joining us this week on Christ Kids TV.